As our kids have grown and now have kids of their own, our Christmas traditions have evolved. Today I'm sharing a few things we have found to reconnect with each other and our kids and grandkids. For us, when it comes to gifts, we found that at this stage in life there really isn't anything we need. What we enjoy more is to gift experiences. We've done things like an ice castle tour, a painting class, a ceramic class, theater tickets, experiences that will give us a little push towards trying something new and hopefully making a memory along the way. Twice now we have gifted Polar Express books and then purchased tickets for a trip on board the real Polar Express train. It really was a magical experience. We had so much fun watching everyone together enjoying cookies, hot cocoa, and singing carols. A gift our grandkids have enjoyed was when I gathered all of my Christmas books together. I wrapped each one individually and gave them to their parents. Then every night from December 1st to the 24th, the kids got to unwrap a book and listen to a story. And speaking of passing things down, I've gradually gone through all of my Christmas decor and passed favorites down to each of our kids. They can enjoy it and hopefully in the future years they can pass it down to their kids. When I was growing up, sometime between Thanksgiving and early December, we would make gingerbread houses. We've continued this tradition with our kids and grandkids, and it's one that I always look forward to. Another favorite tradition on Christmas morning is our favorite gingerbread waffles. In the description box, I will link a video to how I make those, but fair warning, it's one of my very early YouTube videos, so keep that in mind. This would also be a great make-ahead gift for married kids. You could mix up the dry ingredients and package it up in a cute package for your kids to open with their kids and make together on Christmas morning. During the holidays when we all get together, we really enjoy playing games. I'll link those videos below as well. One thing I've learned is that no matter what we do, the most important thing is being together and not complaining when traditions have to change. It's important to support our kids as they go forward, creating traditions for their own little families. I hope all of you enjoyed this upcoming holiday season together. Thanks for watching.